Lee Hong Gi and Hu Wei Xiong. Still love you. Anyone familiar with this? I don't know. These names don't ring a bell. This is five years old. We do have subs, that's good. Okay. Lee Hong Gi is from FT Island. I've heard that name, but I don't know if I've heard their music. And Yu Wei Song is from N Flying. There we go. Okay. Now, when they come on the screen, I'm not going to know who's who. So I will be referring people to people as this cat and then this cat. So here we go. This is called Still Love You. Normally it says this in the description, but I don't see it. So I'm going to ask, is this song from like a show or a drama or anything? Is this, uh, is this in a soundtrack somewhere? It has that feel for sure. I think it's not. Wow. It should be. Mm. Who is this one with this with this slight rasp to his voice? I really love that. No That's Hongi. Okay.
Huh. That is a powerful song. So, the blonde is Hungi. Which one is Hungi from? Is that from, is he from uh, FT Island or N Flying? From FT Island, here, Hungi. And this is Yu Wesong, is that right? From N Flying. Wei Song, okay. Wow. I was really kind of enthralled with the voices that I think, see, here's what I, I have to say. If I, if I look into this video in and of itself, I mean, this is, what I say, five years old? Yeah, so this is five, six years old. Um, Visually speaking, there's really not a lot going on. And that's, that's fine because in the same way we talked about earlier with some of the other videos, you can ruin the song by getting the wrong visuals or if you do them wrong or if it's too much, you're trying too hard. This was really simple and I think that's okay. This little piece that's playing out with the three of them and the camera is nice. It's not too much, it's pretty straightforward. His voice is immaculate. Both of them. The way they harmonize? Oh, God. Okay, but here's, here's what I have to ask, though. Because it's hard to read the lyrics, hear the voices, kind of break down the musics, and get the visuals in one listen. So the question I have is, is this like... Is this a love triangle? Is it a is it a, a representative of a family thing? Like what's like is one of are they brother and sister, some of them? Like what's does anybody know? Oh, and I'm definitely gonna go back and hear that high note again for sure. Cause I thought the way that they they very specifically went back to the camera, they hung on the shot of the camera for just long enough to make you go, what am I waiting for? And then the picture snapped. That's interesting. Like there's something there that they're trying to capture, pun intended. Mm. And we do get some expressions from her, which for that reason, she is a main character. I mean, outside of the obvious fact that there's just three of them and she's in the beginning and the ending shots, but still. All right, let me hear that note again. Oh, look at that, most replayed, shocking. Oh, and to chase that note with the electric guitar, delicious! No man, no man, Oof. no man. Mm. Great drop back down. <sighs> wow. So, I think, listen, watching that part again and seeing a couple of the lyrics, I wonder if 
the camera and that flash of the photo is a visual play on the lyrics that say, I tried to erase you and I can't. And to me, if you think about that from an emotional standpoint, when you take those, those snapshots in your brain, like when you think back to like when you were this age or this age or this age, you have these snapshots that you remember. Sometimes minute details, sometimes significant events. And I wonder if this whole theme of the camera is a way for them to demonstrate this, this fact that that snapshot will always exist. I want to forget you, but I can't because that will always exist in my brain. That's pretty clever. Okay, let's see here. Well, I'm gonna go a little rogue here. <laughs> we'll turn her up a little bit. sitting down right and it, they're in an interview they're just hanging out having a chat and they're like hey uh will you do that part that we like and he's like okay <clears throat> and then he just belts it out that's crazy now i could be wrong here but those of you that know this song tell me if i'm right it sounded like before the high note the part that he was singing, he actually changed the notes a little bit than the original version that we just heard. It sounded like he went a step down before he went back up to the high part. Listen. No man, no man. I'll point it out. Wow, bro! <laughs> right here, he's like, oh, you did it! That's how I feel! <laughs> That's great! Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm like cheering him on like I know him. Oh, that's badass. Man, that was good. Whoo! Worth it. Oh, that was good.